Let's just start off on where you think things stand in, in terms of uh, the markets. You, know, you said on, the, on your last earnings call, we've been in a decade-long period where taking risk has been rewarded. And I wonder, having read that quote, whether you still think that's the case or things are changing. Well, I think the misstatement was the, the word decade. Actually, since 2008, the printing press has been running. And that printing press means stocks up, rates down. And particularly people who took long-dated growth and tech risk were rewarded. Well, guess what? That's changed. First quarter, equities down 14, uh, credit down 17. And I think this is still has a long way to go. Why? You just look back if you believe in mean reversion. So let's start by saying technology is going to change the world, but that doesn't mean it's not overvalued. So you look at average S&P PE today, 21, long-term average 16, that's 30% to go. You know, you look at where the S&P is today versus where it was at the end of 19, we have a long way to go. So it is unclear to me that we're, we've seen the end of this. Certainly the Fed seems deadly serious about getting expectations of inflation under control, which means liquidity is going to come out of the system. And you can see that's going to happen already with their announcement this morning on reducing their balance sheet and rates are going up. Now, you have not been a firm that has chased growth, unlike some others. I think that's fair to say. Uh, you benefit from that in this environment, therefore? Absolutely. I mean, look, for us, purchase price has always mattered. Uh, and purchase price matters everywhere in the market. So in the equity market, it's the kinds of companies you buy and it's the prices you pay. We want growth. We're just not prepared to pay for it. So I sometimes joke we trade perspiration for purchase price. Um, and in the credit markets, rather than simply doing the easy thing, we originate. Origination is generally sh shorter dated, generally more yieldy, and therefore gives us some shelter from rates. No perfect shelters. Yeah, well, tell me about no perfect shelters in this environment, <laughs> because, you know, I do wonder with yields moving up appreciably, uh, with uh, credit quality is not really in doubt as of yet. But, you know, you, uh, what kind of a cycle are we in, Mark? Look, it, it feels like right now we're in a cost of capital cycle. And what I mean by that is the Fed is going to raise the cost of capital. They are going to reduce speculative activity. They're going to reduce market activity. They're going to reduce liquidity. And ultimately, that's going to reduce growth and reduce demand. So far, demand seems to be pretty strong. It looks like we're going to squeak through 22 without a recession. But there's no doubt conditions are weakening. I'm not sure that's a bad thing in terms of a reset. We were running very hot. And it was un unclear how much longer it could continue. Yeah, I, I want to talk about the credit uh, business that, that you have. But let me get to the old PE business for a moment, if I can, because you do have some insight into what corporations are seeing, given how many companies are, are in your portfolio, so to speak. So what about that idea of a recession? What are you seeing in terms of wage inflation, in terms of so many of the other pressures that we talk about, supply chain and on and on? So I think you're seeing, I don't think there are any surprises. Um, so whether it is airline demand, room demand, hospitality demand, industrial orders, it's all in the right direction, meaning demand is still really strong. Having said that, staffing is really challenged. Inflation is there across the portfolio. Long-term investments are being made. Technological shift and modernization is happening, but it does feel like we're gonna end up with a weakening toward the end of the year, rolling into 23. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.